This is an update on the progress of the Flathead V8 engine. Based primarily on a Ford Flathead, but with the exhaust coming out the top like a Cadillac. This was a concession that was made in fabricating the engine because I couldn't get the exhaust runners through the block and out the side like a Ford flathead. All of the other components um, are based on a Ford flathead. Water pumps, breathers, generators, distributor, everything else. There's only a few remaining components to be made. Uh, spark plug wires, looms, uh, engine base, and radiator. All of the internal components are complete and assembled. Pistons, rods, crank, valves, water pumps. The spark plugs are homemade. Their quarter 32 thread. The insulators are Corian. The exhaust headers are stainless steel. They're a fabrication. The main runner was bent from stainless tubing. And then all of the other port runners were bent and assembled on a fixture and then silver soldered together. Several of the components like the fuel pump, the generator, and starter are part of the scale engine build but are non-functional. The parts for the carburetor, the throttle barrels, and needle valves need to be completed yet. Has a dipstick to measure the oil level. All of the parts are made from solid stock. The main components, the block, manifold, bell housing, heads, are made from 6061 aluminum and are all machined by hand. There's no CNC work in the construction of the engine. It has a starter, much like the generator, but for looks only. It's too hard to get enough power out of a small motor to start an engine like this. The distributor, the cap is made from Delrin. It has a hall trigger ignition with a single magnet inside the distributor body which will fire a small electronic ignition. The water pumps have seals, O-ring seals with double ball sealed ball bearings. The fan and its pulley ride on double ball bearings as does the generator. I started on it last August and we're into September now so I have over a year and I will have another month and a half in construction. Total time should be somewhere around 16-1700 hours.